Evening folks, I'm doing a little bit of uh, midweek sculpting. feel like I've been missing my time and gravity sketch and this little cutie that you see before you. I don't even know if she has a name, but she's uh, sort of an orphan type character that you see very, very briefly in the first episode of Star Trek Prodigy. And I just like immediately was drawn to her. I have no idea if she'll show up in future episodes, but I'm sort of doing my own little version of her. Um, this is made up of uh, mostly, it's like actually, actually a mixture of uh, tools here. We have our primitives um, in the form of sub The primitive objects. shapes tool. Oh, oh. It's okay. You're good. The volume tool and also the ink tool. So I'm just going to do a very quick thing with the eyes here. Fill out the eyes, the teeth, no teeth here, eyes, and then the ears, and then we'll call it a night. Something short and sweet. Um, what do we want to do for the ears? I think I want to do a regular old. The so primitive. The, we got it. We got it. This is set to a mirror right now, which we love. We love a good mirror, right? Ooh. That's not what I wanted. Hold up, hold up. Ah, there we go. That's like it. It's up D. And then I think what I'll do, my uh, current plan is probably to take this into Medium Next or some other piece of sculpting software. I found that I'm really enjoying um, starting out in Gravity Sketch now. That, that wasn't my normal route. Um, I think it's because I've so grown so accustomed just to putting this quest on my head. And it's not tethered to anything. So there is something to be said for the freedom of just going straight straight into it you know without having to turn on a pc or anything like that just going straight in but i said that i still really enjoy you know making within um pc if that makes any sense i still do my game engine stuff there I still do blender in there um, so we're still at the crossroads of possibilities. And this character, I have a little plan for this character. I'm not sure if it'll work. Um, as with all things, it's a grand experiment, but uh, we'll see. You know, as, I, as um, you're seeing me do this, a lot of this can also be baked. Right, from side to side, and then I can start playing with styling the hair that way. That way, you're not um, a slave to a mirror. You're never a slave to anything. There we go. Just to get some. Same thing with the whiskers here. Uh, and we definitely want to add. Oh, I want to get this into a little sweet, sweet. official term, the swoopy swoop. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's still a very exciting time to be making things in XR. If um, you have any doubts, there's always updates, there's always fun cool things coming out. I think next up I'm going to try Shapes XR to see whether or not I can prototype a VR chat world. I'm always thinking about making VR chat worlds and I never have time. So, I, don't, I, I, I think things like um, Shapes XR, which is a prototyping tool that you do multi collab, um, is a good way to sort of cut my excuses off and at least start. The whole point is to just start what we're trying to do here. I am trying to get one sub to for the eyes. Cool. 
So there are two animated shows I'm loving right now. Um, one is Arcane. If you haven't watched it yet, it is just glorious. Arcane and um, yeah, Prodigy is really great too. I mean, you can just tell from the style. It's got a really, it doesn't feel fully CG, if that makes any sense. I think they spend a lot of time like really making sure that the um, lighting and the colors just really felt more hand-painted uh, in both shows. Probably more so Arcane. Arcane just has such a great, and, and the world building in Arcane is so great too. I don't, I don't play League of Legends, but that's what it's based on. So there you go. We got ourselves, uh, you know, I should pay better attention to the, wait a second. flash that out and see how the shadows are working. It's not too bad. I'd love to push this profile out more and that's maybe something I'll do when I get into uh, back into medium. But uh, the base is getting there as you can see. And I was only working on it less than maybe 20 minutes before I turned on the old recorder in here. So I really like the flow too. The hair, as you can see, it's sort of like, and it changes according to the motion. My favorite thing is this, is the, uh, the, little, the little ponytails on the side there. I might even just make my own version of that. Maybe it's off to the side, I'm not sure. That's super charming. You can really tell they, they put a lot of love into that character. Even if it doesn't even, even if it's a character that you don't see for very much. I have a feeling that we will. I'm just gonna leave that for now. So I remember to come back to that. But yeah, that's what we have for today. I'm gonna just finish off the back here. Maybe just give a little teeth as well. And then we'll be on our merry way back to your regularly scheduled social feed programming. <laughs> or whatever you may be doing. I hope you're reading, I hope you're making something or just resting one of those things cool all right let's just do the teeth i'm gonna throw that into the deets I haven't even touched color yet, and that's very purposeful. There we go. Uh, I feel like the eyes can be pushed a little bit, but before I do that, let me make sure I... Oh yeah, so the name of this species is a Katian, a cat I mean, obviously it's a derivative of feline, but um, yeah, I thought that was very cute. I had never, I've never seen this species before. Um, okay.
All right. There we go for now. This is what we got. And I'm really enjoying making this sculpt. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a good night, everyone.